Hello everyone, I'm Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this module, I'm going to explain what are events in Lightning or a component development. Let's understand what are events in Lightning component. So event-driven programming is used in many languages and framework such as JavaScript and Java Swing. So uh, now you need to understand what events are. So if you have already uh, knowledge of JavaScript and Java Swing, so you can understand like if I have a button on the UI and if I click on that button, and on the click of that button, like if something is happening in the background, so that is called as event driven programming. So if you are doing any action and a uh, basis on that action, if any operation is happening and result is rendering on the UI, so that is considered as event driven programming. So this event driven programming is available in lightning components. So if you implement lightning component with aura, so Basically, a component registers that it may fire an event in its markup. So in Lightning component, uh, we create a markup file. So uh, there we need to register the event. Then events are fired from the JavaScript controller actions that are typically triggered by a user interacting with the user interface. So like if you have a button, if you click on that button, so uh, on click of that button, let's say your uh, controller method is executing. So that method uh, will be responsible to fire the event. So in component file, we register the event and in JavaScript controller, uh, we fire the events. So this was the brief introduction. Now let's talk about how many types of events are available in uh, Lightning component. So we have uh, these three categories. First is browser event. So browser events are like on change, on click, on blur. So if you are using any tag or any markup in your component, so on that markup, uh, you can have some events. So you need to call the JavaScript methods uh, uh, along with the tags. So those are known as browser events. Next is system event. So uh, system events for them, you don't need to uh, use any tag. You just need to register the event in the component file and you need to write the method that will execute uh, when that system event will be executed. So uh, like we have in it render location change, etc. And in some of the uh, examples I uh, used in it as well. So that is system event. So you don't need to define any markup or tag for that. So these are known as system events. Next is custom event. So in lightning component, uh, lightning component with aura, you can use two uh, custom events. One is component and one is application. So let's discuss uh, these events one by one in detail. So first let's see how a browser event works. So this is a uh, lightning select tag or markup. So uh, these are some attributes which are uh, defined with this uh, tag. So name, label, and then on change. So this on change uh, is basically a browser event. So whenever uh, this lightning select will be rendered on the UI, so uh, it will show you some options. So it is basically used to show the pick list on the UI. So if you uh, select any pick list value uh, from the UI, so on change will be executed automatically and uh, uh, this on change event will be executed automatically and this method will be uh, executed. And this method you need to define in the JavaScript controller. So upper part will be implemented in the component file and uh, lower part will be implemented in the JavaScript controller. And in upcoming videos, I will be demonstrating it with a practical example. So uh, you can go through with that uh, module so that you can understand the proper working of browser event. Next is system event. So in system event, you don't need to use any markup or tag. You just need to register the uh, event like uh, aura handler name equals to init. So this is your system event value equals to this and action equals to c dot do init. So this do init is a, a function that you need to define in the JavaScript controller. So uh, this init is basically short form of initialize. So whenever your component loads in the browser, 
So this uh, method will be executed automatically and whatever code you will write in the do it, so it will be uh, executed and the results will be uh, generated. So this is system event. This I uh, also will be uh, demonstrating in the separate module with proper example. Now let's talk about component event. So uh, we have two custom events. One is component event and one is uh, application event. So a component event is fired from an instance of a component. A component event can be handled by the component that fired the event or by a component in the containment hierarchy that receives the event. So the component uh, who is firing uh, the uh, event, uh, that component can handle that. And uh, the components which are above in the hierarchy, like if any child component is firing the event, so uh, its parent can handle that uh, event. So that is basically known as containment hierarchy. So if I go further, so these are the four steps. Uh, if you want to create component event, so you need to uh, follow these things. So first you need to create custom component event. Then you need to register component event. Then you need to fire component event. And then you need to handle the component event, right? So uh, this I will also be demonstrating with a separate module with pro proper practical demonstration. So uh, you can watch that demonstration later on. So important about component event. So here, child component will pass parameter to event components attribute. So basically a component will be having separate bundle and event will uh, be having separate bundle. You, you need to create event file separately, right? So child component will pass parameters to event components attribute. So basically, uh, through these events, if you want to pass values from one component to another, so uh, component will be passing the values through event and event will pass uh, that value to uh, the uh, component who will be handling that event. So basically from child to uh, parent, uh, if you want to pass the messages, so uh, these events uh, will be beneficial. So then parent component will fetch those attributes from event component attributes. Component event works in a parent-child hierarchy only, right? So this is important. So child component will pass uh, parameters to event component attributes and uh, through event component attributes, those attributes will be fetched uh, by parent component, right? Now uh, we have application event. So um, uh, make sure you watch the practical demonstration of component event because uh, in this module, I'm just explaining all type of events theoretically, but uh, later on I will be uh, uploading practical demonstration modules as well. So an application event is fired from an instance of a component. All components that provide a handler for the event are notified. It goes to application first and then application broadcast it to each component in the application and can handle that event in any component. So the difference between component event and application event is component event works in the parent child hierarchy only, but your application event goes to the top and it will be broadcasted to all the components. Those are available under that application, right? So this is the basic difference and those components can handle this application event. So again, we have four uh, steps for application event. So create custom application event, then register application event, then fire and then handle. So steps are same as uh, we have in component event, but the working is different. So event handling life cycle. So now uh, this is a separate thing, like uh, uh, what is the life cycle of event handling that we need to discuss. So first point says detect firing of event. So the framework detects the firing of an event. For example, the event could be triggered by a button click in a notifier component, right? So let's say the component uh, which is firing the event. So that will be known as uh, like th th that will be having the button. And uh, if you click on that button, like uh, you will be uh, like event will be firing automatically and then the notifier will be detecting like event is fired or not. Then um, determine the type of event. So it can be component event or it can be application event. 
So the parent or container component instance that fired the event is identified. This container component locates all relevant event handlers for further processing. Application event, uh, like any component can have an event handler for this event. All relevant event handlers are located, right? So uh, in component event, like a parent-child relationship should be there, but in application event, uh, uh, all the uh, like relevant event handlers uh, can, uh, like the components where you have uh, defined the handler, so uh, through that it can be uh, handled. Then executing a component event handler, so each of event handler defined in the container component for the event are executed by the handler controller, which can also set attributes or modify data to, to the component. So causing a re-rendering of the component and fire another event or invoke a client side or server side action, right? So this is also important to know. Then executing an application event handler. So all event handlers are executed when the event handler is executed, the event instance is passed to the event handler. The render component, so after the event handlers and any callback actions are executed, a component might be automatically re-rendered if it was modified during the event handling process, right? So this is basically event handling cycle. So this way I gave you the brief overview, like what is event, how many types of events are available, and a brief overview about each event. So uh, don't forget to watch the individual demonstration module so that you can understand how we can implement browser events, how we can implement system events, how we can implement component events, and how we can implement application events. Thank you.